Our next test was first pioneered by Jay Jacobs in 1887, and it's been used by memory experts ever since. It was designed to work out how much information we can hold in our short-term memory at any one time by getting people to remember number sequences of varying lengths. It's called the digit span test. To test his subjects, Jay Jacobs gradually increased the length of the digit sequence. But we're going to jump straight to a seven-digit number, which you need to remember. Eight, six, zero, two, nine, one, seven. Right, well, use your keypads to just put down the right number. And you can do the same thing with a pen or remote control at home. Choose your option from the list on the screen. Five seconds left. The correct answer was option three. Eight six zero oh, two nine one seven. If you got that right, you're doing rather well. Uh, you do all right? Yeah, I yeah. got it right. Struggled. You had a bit of a problem? Yep. Oh, I struggled a bit. Did you? Yeah, right. I just got the last two mixed up. Got the last two mixed remember. up. Tests show that seven digits are about the limit we can store. If it's so hard holding number sequences in your short-term memory, it's not surprising we struggle at the cash point days later. But help is at hand with eight times world memory champion, Dominic O'Brien. Welcome, Dominic. Nice to see you. Now, you're an expert at improving people's memory for numbers, so that's going to put you to a bit of a test. Oh, right. right. Okay. What I'm going to do is to give you a, a, a 20 digit number sequence, which I'd like you to repeat. You'll hear it now. Two, zero, three, four, nine, seven, two, one, three, five, six, seven, four, eight, nine, one, nine, three, zero, seven. What do you think? Okay, I'll have a go. Two, zero, three, four, uh, nine, seven, two, one. Is that correct? Yep. Three, five, six, seven, four, eight, nine, one, nine, three, zero, seven. Well done. <laughs> you impressed? I think he did rather well, don't you? Yeah, and, and you know, some people struggle just as we saw with seven digit numbers. Yeah, the trouble with numbers is they don't mean anything in isolation. So if you take the number, like a nine digit number, 213964102, it sounds horrendous. But if you break it down into chunks, like uh, 213964102, it's more palatable. That's all right for short term memory. But if you want to transfer it to your long term memory, I break it down into pairs of numbers and I'd make up a story. Okay. So, for example, 21 of the first two digits. Imagine a, it's your 21st right. birthday, you've got a key to a door, there's a key to a tower, a mysterious tower. And as you go up the steps, you notice there are 39 steps. It's from the film, 39 steps. You also, what comes into your head is a tune, When I'm 64, The Beatles. Think about that. When you get to the top of the tower, you see Tony Blair from Number 10 Downing Street. Now a swan, which has the number shape of two, swoops down and carries him off into the clouds forever and ever. Now you remember that story. Get a free trial of the world's best scientific brain games at www.getbraingames.com.